All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Pitt 38, West Virginia 31, and fantastic backyard brawl to open up the 2022 college football season. For those that don't know, I do a show on Sunday mornings on Winning Cures Everything that covers uh, a recap, a reaction to the weekend that was, but because we had such awesome games on Thursday night, and I expect to have multiple on Saturday, uh, I am thinking that the Sunday show might go long anyway, so we're going to go ahead and hit this one, go ahead and get the video out in case anybody wants to watch it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, and toss up, I mean, the, uh, the play of the game was the pick six interception here. Uh, it was just uh, right on the hands of the wide receiver for West Virginia. I mean, just just on the hands. And, of course, you see the return. You see this tweet here. What was the best part of the play? The speed of the return, the blocks by Pitt's defense, the noise, etc. cetera. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you, I was a little bit shocked at how many people were there from West Virginia. Uh, there was a pretty strong West Virginia contingency in that crowd. Um, but, of course, the Pitt fans, super loud, incredible environment from what you could tell. Uh, the television stuff went over really well on this one. But let's, uh, let's dive into some of the numbers here. And if I'm a Pitt fan, I am infuriated at the way that Narduzzi and Signetti uh, went about this game. I mean, it, the basic stuff here that, that you look at, go ahead and look at the production over here. Um, for Pitt, you had 5.29 EPA per pass. That is ridiculously good. Good things happened when he let Keaton Slovis throw the ball. At one point, uh, Slovis was 8 of 8 or 9 of 9 when he was in the shotgun, uh, passing the ball, and it was like 190 yards and two touchdowns. You see what works with this team, the way that they're built. Why on earth do you continue to run the football? I, if I'm not mistaken, it was 39 rushes to 24 passes. And with running the football, 1.05 EPA per play. Now, I'm not saying that you need to run, uh, that you need to pass the ball all the time, but, you know, maybe get that thing closer to 50-50 as opposed to 62% pass, or excuse me, 62% run to 38% pass when the passing is five times more successful. It, that just seems to be the smart play for me. Uh, I was impressed with West Virginia, jumping over to that side on this. I, I had a feeling that their offensive line would be pretty good. I didn't know exactly what it was going to look like. But they were able to run the ball fairly effectively. Uh, you jump over to the ESPN box score. Uh, C.J. Donaldson, seven carries, 125 yards. And a long of 44 means that he was pretty successful um, outside of just that one long run. Uh, Tony Mathis Jr. surprised me a little bit. And I, I shouldn't have been surprised. He was pretty good last year. Uh, but... You know, 17 carries, 71 yards, like 190 yards rushing on this pit defense is pretty awesome. Uh, I was I was very impressed. JT Daniels, some really good throws. That first touchdown that he threw the uh, uh, the back shoulder throw, uh, where he got the receiver to turn around exact and just get it out of where the defender could actually get to the ball. Perfect throw, perfect throw. He looked good in this. Uh, 214 yards, two touchdowns, one interception here. I look at this, and I, I think good things for West Virginia, but I'm also thinking good things for Pitt. I mean, obviously, the defense did not exactly do what you wanted them to do, but this is a rivalry game. Anything can happen in a game like this. It's uh, It was fun. It was a lot of fun. So I, I enjoyed watching this. Uh, going through, you know, on, on GameOnPaper.com, you can look at uh, what the biggest or most important plays of the game, the biggest plays, uh, the first biggest play was the JT Daniels interception, of course, that <laughs> that led to um, uh, the final score here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you go through and just find all these different ones, the unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, you can see exactly how much EPA that was worth, what the win percentage was with that, uh, or win percentage against, etc. Just a really interesting way to look at this. Uh, the The biggest play of the game as far as an EPA standpoint goes, C.J. Donaldson run for 14 yards to the 39 for a first down when it was West Virginia 31 to 31, or when it was tied at 31. Uh, this was this was a back and forth ball game, and I'm I'm not gonna lie, and Pitt fans, you ain't gonna like this. You guys were pretty lucky to come out of here with a win. 
pretty lucky. West Virginia impressed me, but Pitt, uh, I think you got a lot of good things to work with heading into a game at home against Tennessee next week. I will certainly say that. So we will go ahead and wrap this one up, but uh, I am excited about this football season. I'm excited about what Pitt was able to do, uh, big plays on defense, et cetera. They did give up some plays, but overall, uh, impressive. Very, very impressive. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.